and welcome to another in the Elsa Data Governors Coach video series. And today I want you to have a look at data quality as well as data governance and answer the question is, what's the relationship between data governance and data quality? Because when we talk about data governance, we end up talking about data quality at the same time. Um, um, and we're using the, the terms in the same conversation, the same sentences. People tend to get very confused about whether they're the same thing or not. Now, they are not the same data management discipline, but in my experience, they're best done by the same team. So in my experience, lots of organizations have been doing data quality for long before they even consider data governance. I mean, after all, people get it. The name gives you a very strong hint about what it is. It's about making our data good enough to use. But if you do data quality without data governance in place, what you tend to do is tactical at best. So you perhaps get regular reports of things that you have to fix, but you're fixing them, just correcting the mistake. Or perhaps you're doing even automated cleansing when data is loaded into another system, like a data lake or a data warehouse, so that you can do some analytics on it. But these things have to be repeated. They don't ever solve the underlying problem. And this is where data governance comes in, because as you know, as part of doing data governance, we put in place this framework of roles and responsibilities. So we have people who know that their job is to make decisions and have accountabilities for this data. And also we have some processes in place. One of those processes, in fact, my favorite one, and I think is the key one that everybody should embrace first, is the data quality issue resolution process. And the whole point of this is to move away from this tactical fix fixing and cleansing of data and go and fix the source of the issue. But we can only do that if somebody's responsible for doing that, because otherwise nobody's interested in doing all that extra work. They're only interested in making the data good enough for them to use right now. And that means a monthly or a quarterly cleanse, maybe even manual. So data governance, as you can see, gives you that framework to start allowing you to be more proactive about data quality. It allows us to start solving issues at the source of the problem so that we don't have to do monthly fixes. I, I've come across so many organizations over the years where they have people whose sole job it is, is to manually fix and cleanse data, or as some of us call it, they're doing data wrangling for their day job and they shouldn't. So in my opinion, you shouldn't be doing just data quality on its own. You should always be doing data governance at the same time. And I think that is really important. And the one, uh, just to pick up on the one thing I said at the start, which was, I think they should be done on the same team. I've come across um, organizations over the years where it has been split. And this makes life really hard for you if you're doing data governance, because people will go to the data quality team because they want things fixed. They're not thinking about the long term, how do we how do we fix it once and for all? They just want it fixed now so it can solve their immediate need or, or problem. Um, in the meantime, the data governance people are uh, going around trying to talk to people about putting in place this amazing foundation. We want to put some data definitions in place, and then we want to identify the most important data and do some data quality rules, and then maybe do some data quality reporting. And if you think about it from the business user's point of view, this all sounds like extra work on what I'm doing at the moment. I've got a lot on. Doesn't sound like my job because we've got no data governance roles and responsibilities agreed yet. But if I just go to the data quality team, they'll fix it for me. It'll, it'll be okay. So you really is so much easier if you do them as part of the same team, because then it's the same team saying, we'll help you do these things on a tactical basis while we solve them long term. So I hope that's helped, um, that you now understand the relationship between the two and why I think they really should be done by the same team. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance. And you can help me in any number of ways. You can like, subscribe to my channel, um, add comments to this video, or you can even share it on your choice of social media. Really grateful for any help you can give me in getting that message out there. Doing data governance can be a very frustrating and lonely place. And I just want to get the message out to help people not make mistakes and repeat what I did all those years ago. So thank you for your help. I hope you'll join me next time. And if you've got a question you'd like me to answer in one of these videos, please just email it into questions at nicolaaskham.com.